just want to use a second to take out my hair sometimes it looks nice other times i just don't understand it hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber thank you for always coming back to watch my videos if you are new thank you for stopping by please do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so today i i wanted to make a video or the plan is to the plan is to um, make a video talking about things that I miss about Nigeria. So I was about to start filming the video and I realized that I'm hungry and I want to make something to eat. So I'm like, oh, why not? I mean, uh, we can do a cook with me and well, I talk about what I miss about Nigeria. Okay, when I say cook with me, I'm not making anything fancy. I just want to make um, pancakes uh, to eat. So yeah, I'll be doing that and we'll be talking and discussing things that I miss about Nigeria. So let's do this. Okay, so I have everything that I need. I have the flour, I have um, milk, I have sugar and I have eggs. So uh, I have everything that I need basically. So to be honest, I never really measure um my stuff when i'm making <laughs> pancakes i just put everything as the spirit needs if i feel like oh this is enough flour or this is enough milk or this is enough sugar it's usually you know i keep it until my inner voices stop my child <laughs> then i stop so uh i'm not sure anybody else wants to eat so since i'm making for just myself I will be using one egg and I just need this quantity of flour. Then next is sugar. So I think that since this is some sort of cook with me, it's only right that I mention that the first thing I miss about Nigeria is the food. God, I miss Nigerian food so much. I hate that um, here. It's not really easy to get Nigerian food. I'm sure that in other parts of Europe where there are more Nigerians, it probably get you get Nigerian food easier. If you're in Germany or say you're in the UK, that wouldn't really be a problem. But I don't know of any Nigerian restaurants here in Lithuania. So it means that if I want to eat Nigerian food, I have to cook it. So if I feel like jollof rice, if I feel like um, swallow, whatever I feel like, <laughs> The only way I can get that is by making it myself. And to be honest, I really do not like cooking. So it just makes everything annoying. Talking about missing Nigerian food, let me mention that what I actually miss is having to cook it myself. <laughs> you know how sometimes you could just be craving something. Maybe you're craving some ofada, ofada rice, or maybe you're craving um, what's well, like anything or village rice or like the fact that you can be craving this thing and you just check out or just order from the place or order from somewhere because trust me having to make your own cravings is the actual get to when you don't like to cook so that luxury of ordering your cravings i don't have and i've not found any meal here that i love so what it means is that whenever I'm ordering outside, the things that I end up ordering are burger, um, um, kebabs, which is like shawarma wraps, uh, fries, um, chicken and fries, basically the regular stuff, right? Uh, I'm not very experimental with food, so it means that I do not order things that I'm not familiar with. So yes, I really, really miss that part. Of not being in Nigeria. I'm done mixing this. It's very little. You should probably give me like two or three very small ones. So I have my frying pan, and the next thing I will do is to light up the gas. Mm. So I used this oil to fry pork off yesterday, and I figured that I could use it to make my pancakes. Mm. So, uh, the next thing that I'll say I miss 
about Nigeria is I mean this should be the first thing right what I miss the most about Nigeria is the people my family my friends basically everybody that I care about because before now I had lived in Nigeria all my life which meant that all the people that I have formed relationships with were I in Nigeria or most of them are in Nigeria so I miss my family i miss my siblings i miss my friends to be fair it, i i haven't really lived with my family since i was 11 because i went to a boarding school for secondary school after which i went to the university in far away Asia. so because of that i have always lived far away from family but the fact that even if i wanted to see them i could just you know up and go home just made it a little bit different because now i've been here for several months and i have gone several months without seeing my family before even when i lived in nigeria but it's not the same thing knowing that even if i wanted to like the logistics of going to see them is not like a walk in the park so i miss them and my friends my friends more or less have become like my family and i miss them very much very very much yeah so i think this is hot enough i will just so the reason why i like using this mix is just so that i can pour it from here it just makes things easy for me and i have this also i i like my pancakes lights actually it's not that i like my pancakes lights it's that i like having a lot of milk and because here I only have access to liquid milk, there's a limit to how much milk that I can add. So before I know it, I've added milk and it's watery. But I mean, in Nigeria, if I'm using powdered milk, then I can put as much milk as I want and I can still, you know, let it be thick. So usually what happens there is that the pancakes I make end up being really light because of the how light it is when I finish mixing. So this is turning out just how I like it and I think that's good to go with this so I will just stick it out and fry the next batch. So I'm done. I managed to make three nice round not too burnt pancakes. So the plan was to um, make sausages, to fry sausages but I only just realized when I brought the sausages we had from the fridge that I had expired so it expired a few days ago and I had to trash it so now I'm just going to eat the pancakes alone with um, Nutella and honey so usually I finally had to decide which one that I want to use so I just use both of them so if I have two I use Nutella on one and I use honey on the other one or I just interchange anyway so let's continue with my points so the third thing I miss about Nigeria is the party in the Owambe. So now, Owambe is party, I think. That's how I describe it. I don't know how else to describe what Owambe is in English, but the party. So Nigerians are known for throwing the, the loudest, flashiest, colorfulest. Okay, maybe not as colorful as Indians, because I know that Indians also throw like colorful wedding parties but nigerians also throw like colorful parties nigerians like to celebrate everything you celebrate giving birth to your child you celebrate your child's naming ceremony you celebrate coming of age we celebrate everything really so it's just beautiful because there will always be like lots of food to eat lots of things to drink it's just always like a lot of fun you need to attend a nigerian party like if you ever if you ever visit Nigeria, uh, I would suggest that, you know, you ask for, you know, uh, is there anybody getting married that I can attend their weddings? There yeah, are actually people who do that as a service who, like, if it's one of your bucket lists to attend a Nigerian wedding, uh, they help you get that. I know that CVP Adventure does that, so it's something that you can actually try to do when you're in Nigeria. Mm. I miss Nigerian parties because also you don't even need to know the celebrants 
you just need to know one person and you're always welcome because there's always a lot to eat and drink people don't really do um strictly by invitation well now people you know host events where they send invites and only people who are invited can attend but in most cases people just you know think of an imaginary number think or maybe they have 50 friends so they must play by two and they cook food for 100 people because they know that the 50 friends could bring somebody that they know that will on that they know so they love the food shop and i miss that about nigeria because I haven't, you know, again, the parties are different, the music, the food, so, yeah. Another thing I miss about Nigeria is the tourist attractions. I, I started traveling a lot when I was in Nigeria, and it meant that uh, I was able and privileged to visit, like, a lot of the tourist attractions in the area where I lived, which which to be to be fair in comparison to the number of tourist attractions in nigeria i didn't visit a lot but i was able to visit these places most of them more than once and i had like serious plans of visiting the others so i miss that about nigeria i miss the fact that i cannot just up and decide to travel to um ondo so i miss the tourist attractions i miss being able to just up and go to these places to see them or try to convince somebody to travel with me or to visit these places or convince them that these are nice places to visit. One thing that I miss, or should I say the last thing that I miss about Nigeria is the ease of communication. You already know that Lithuania is not an English speaking country, right? So it means that I experience um, a couple of language barriers when I go out and people don't speak English and do not understand what I'm saying, which can be really difficult. So I, I just miss the fact that, you know, in my country, I was more likely to find people who spoke English well because it's our official language. Although there are also cases of people who do not speak English because there are like tons of other languages in Nigeria that people speak. So if you go to like the southwest part, southwestern part where they speak Yoruba, you may find people who don't speak English but speak only Yoruba. And I schooled in that side. I wouldn't say that my Yoruba is great, right? But I think that I'm able to communicate. And it's just easier because even if you would definitely, definitely find someone who understands English and can help you if you are in that kind of situation and also like the culture is the same we all have the same culture so there's no cultural differences which, which can result to people not understanding what you're saying so yeah i miss the same culture with everyone around you same language same <laughs> tastes more or less so let's just say that i miss the ease of communication and similar culture slash lifestyle Another thing that I can say that I miss, which I don't know if it will come out right, but I miss the chaos. <laughs> Let me explain. It's like everywhere is busy, everywhere is loud. You are, you feel how tiny and minute and insignificant you are when you're like in, in Dumota or when you're like shopping in one of the big markets everybody's shopping you're not special there's just everybody around there's a lot of chaos there's a lot of noise maybe because it's what I'm, I've been used to my whole life it just feels at home like it feels <laughs> it feels like home um being here and I'm not saying it's a good thing, I'm not saying that chaos is a good thing or that, you know, lack of chaos is a bad thing. I'm just saying that it's what I'm used to and being away from that or having, um, dealing with something that is different from what I used, I'm used to would definitely feel different. And, but I also like that there is order where I am. I like that, you know, you don't have to run <laughs> to catch a bus. Um, or like struggle with people to enter a bus 
or like not be able to hear yourself because everyone is talking at the top of their voices it's nice it just needs some getting used to i think that's it for the things that i miss about nigeria um i'd like to hear if you are a nigerian in diaspora if you can relate to these things let me know in the comment section what you think which one you think is weird which one you agree with which one you think is silly yeah just let me know let's have this conversation uh that's it about things that i miss and i don't miss about nigeria thank you for sticking to the end of this video please if you are not subscribed please and please and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to notify you when i upload new videos uh if you liked this video please like and share with your friends i will see you in my next video bye